This video will look at two examples of problems involving scientific notation. First example, a human blood cell is nine micrometers wide, which is 0 0.000009 meters. Write its size in meters in scientific notation. So we're working with the number 0 0.123450 and then a nine. We wanna write that in scientific notation. So what we need to do is count how many places do we have to move the decimal over until our leading number is between 1 and 10. So if we count, it moves over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spots. So this number is 9 times 10 raised to the negative 6 because this is a small number that we are trying to make much bigger. So it is 9 times 10 to the negative 6. Alternately, in Excel, if you click on the number, and if you go up to this drop-down menu, we can change it to put it in scientific notation. And if you notice, Excel uses the capital E for scientific notation, rather than times 10 to a power. But this still gives us the same number of 9 times 10 to the negative 6. Another example. This is the same workforce problem that's on the previous percents video. It says, according to Gallup, millennials currently make up 39% of the U.S. workforce. If there are approximately 68 million millennials in the workforce, how many total people are there in the workforce? Write your answer in scientific notation. Now, we already solved the problem. We said 39% of the total workforce is equal to the 68 million millennials. So we said that was x times 0.39 equaled 68. So we divided both sides by 0.39 to get 174.35 million, which worked out to 174,359,000. So our decimal is behind this last zero. Let's count how many places we have to move it over until our leading number is between 1 and 10. We have to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this number is 1.74 times 10 raised to the 8. And again, Excel makes this easy. If you click on the number and then change the formatting to scientific notation, it gives us the same value of 1.74e to the 8, which means times 10 to the 8. 